Hi, my name is Sutter Adams at the TMJ Sleep Breeze Center, and I'm going to be talking about the importance of treating an upper lip tie and how it negatively impacts facial and jaw growth. Just to review, an upper lip tie is a very tight attachment between the lips and the jaws. When you're talking and eating and doing other things, it's, if anything, it's going to put a very retractive force due to the tight attachment between the lips and the jaws. This is especially very impactful with kids who are actively growing and it will cause the upper and lower jaws not to be allowed to grow as forward as they should. They're not going to achieve as much height in the mouth and that's going to create much less space for the teeth and the tongue and create a lot of functional problems. Let's take a little bit, let's think a little bit more about how this poor growth occurs. Notice how my upper and lower teeth fit together. It's common knowledge that when facial growth is occurring, that the tongue will be promoting a lot of this growth. The tongue is a natural expander. It's pushing outwards. It's gonna be expanding the palate. And the first thing that happens is the upper jaw grows forward. And as the upper jaw grows more forward, that actually creates room for the lower jaw to move forward. Notice again how my lower teeth fit into my upper teeth, and that's the case for most people. So if my upper jaw does not grow forward at all, there will be no room for my lower jaw to grow forward at all either. So what that means is that neither my upper or lower jaw will grow forward. And if an upper lift tie is not treated, nothing can be create more negative consequences for kids than not treating the upper lift tie. 80% of facial growth occurs in kids by the time they reach an age of approximately 12 years old. And it has a lot of devastating impacts to not get forward growth for kids. Let's talk a little bit about the lower lip tie. I don't think I have much of one of those, but sometimes we'll have people where we'll see the upper jaw has grown out rather nicely, or maybe the upper jaw is small, but the lower jaw is set back and even smaller. Uh, sometimes you'll see the presence of an upper lift tie and then the lower lift tie is even tighter. So as the upper jaw grows forward, maybe the lower jaw will be held back by the lower lift tie. So anyway, I think you kind of understand now how some of these tight tissues uh, impact facial growth. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos, I have more in-depth videos on some of these issues. Um, these issues are treated in our office all the time. We use lasers and we recommend myofunctional therapy, typically done by a qualified myofunctional therapist. And it's very easy to resolve lip and tongue ties if they're treated the, the right way. Thank you very much.